My journey with the Happy Teacher Revolution movement began before I was a teacher, before anyone referred to me as Miss Thomas, before I held the responsibility of educating a classroom filled with incredible minds. My story begins when I was still a student myself, a student suffering in silence from severe depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. Not only was I experiencing thoughts of ending my life, but I was expending so much energy, pretending like I was okay, when I really wasn't, by hiding my shadow from family and friends. But I couldn't hide from my teachers. I refer to my educators as my emotional first responders who recognize the subtle changes in behavior and compassionately encourage me to seek treatment and get help. They're the reason why I'm alive today, writing these words and sharing this very roadmap to claiming joy. I owe them my life. After spending nearly a decade as an educator, I recognized both the lack of preparedness and the lack of ongoing support for the emotional demands of the job. I was shocked there was no such thing as a support group for educators. So I decided to create an opportunity for systemic change by organizing support groups through a grassroots network in my community. We called it Happy Teacher Revolution, and slowly our movement began to take root and spread beyond the city limits of Baltimore. Over the past 10 years, Happy Teacher Revolution has supported hundreds of individuals in leading communities to support themselves and one another by creating the time and space to feel, deal, and be real about the social-emotional demands that they face on the job. We've supported these educators in leading their own support spaces from the West Coast to the East Coast, in rural areas and urban areas, in small schools and massive districts across the United States, as well as in Canada, Senegal, Nigeria, Brazil, and Kuwait. My why. This book is a necessity. While I don't believe in operating from a sense of scarcity or urgency, I realize as I write this that we need a strong teaching force now more than ever. We are already seeing a reduction in the numbers of people choosing to enter the field, and enrollment in schools of education is down. The effect of educators leaving the field is absolutely immense. The pandemic of educator burnout existed long before the pandemic of COVID-19. According to a 2022 Edweek survey described in Forbes magazine, a whopping 60% of teachers expressed they were stressed out, and many educators are considering leaving for the first time ever or have already left the profession altogether due to stress. 